kind of storm activity this afternoon and we stay dry over the course of the day today. Now rolling it through uh, future cast here overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Staying quiet. Lows notice a little bit uh, muggier overnight tonight only into the low to mid 70s overnight tonight and that humidity is going to increase as we head through the rest of the weekend but really into next week and heading through the day again we'll start to see the clouds building by late morning into the afternoon and again some scattering showers and storms throughout the day tomorrow rain chances at about 30 maybe 40 percent as we head through your afternoon on Father's Day. Still not looking like a washout or anything like that, but I do think we'll have a better scattering of those showers and storms. And it is lightning season, so just keep in mind if you're out and about tomorrow afternoon, if you hear that thunder roaring, make sure to head indoors. And any activity that gets going tomorrow afternoon dissipates tomorrow evening, and uh, we remain quiet overnight tomorrow night. Now taking a look as we head into the upcoming work week, again, scattered showers for your Sunday. And as we head into Monday, Low pressure off to our west, high pressure sitting off the coast of Florida. We're right in between the two, and so that's going to ensure southerly flow into our region, tropical moisture moving in, uh, and so that's going to give us a better scattering of those showers and storms as we head not only into Monday, but as we head through most of next week. Again, we'll have a couple of upper level features moving in from the west, and anytime we get that this time of year with daytime heating, more uh, available Gulf moisture moving in, that's going to increase our rain chances. So we're talking 60, 70 percent as we head really through Thursday. Again, that tropical moisture is still moving in from the south. And then as we head into Friday, high pressure starts to move a little bit closer to our region. And also the Saharan dust that's moving off the coast of Africa into the tropical Atlantic will eventually get to our region later next week into next weekend. So that's going to help dry us out again heading later on in the 10 day forecast. And again, looking pretty good into next weekend and as we start next work week. But again, still about 10 days out. So the pattern can always change and will certainly evolve. Again, 73 year overnight low, a little bit muggier and those low temperatures are going to continue to go up as we head to the next several days. Tomorrow, again, not too, too bad in the afternoon. 